Hi guys, hope everybody's doing okay, staying safe, washing their hands, all that good stuff. I miss you guys and I can't wait to see you again. So today we are doing a James Rizzy drawing. So it's gonna look something like this. A little bit of pop art, a little bit of folk art, all right? It's a little more cartoony than we usually do, but it's still a lot of fun and it can be a little more silly than we usually do. So I think we'll have a good time with this. Okay, so what's gonna happen is I am going to put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing on the table and then we'll get started, all right? Bye guys. All right guys, so we have a special guest today. Hey Zoe. Hi Zoe. So this is Zoe, this is my puppy. She'll probably just be hanging out in the corner. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you are gonna gather your materials. So you need a straight edge of some kind, whether it's a ruler, whether it's um, a magazine, the end of a box, like a cardboard box, or um, a folded piece of paper, whatever, whatever it may be, you just need a straight edge of some kind because that will definitely help you. And then you are gonna need something for the lines of your buildings. So whether that be a Sharpie, which that's what I'm planning on using. I'm using my Sharpie mainly because you can see it best in the video. Um, but you could use you could use a marker or a crayon for the line. So whatever you want to use, that's totally fine. The last thing you're going to need is you are going to need some kind of coloring material, whether that is markers or crayons or maybe it's highlighters, color pencils, whatever you have at home. If you have paint, that would be kind of cool. All right, whatever you have, that's what you can use. The first thing we are gonna do is we are going to draw the lines of our buildings. When we do the lines, we need our straight edge and then I am gonna use a Sharpie for this. So we are gonna start from one end of the paper to the other. And we are gonna do our first row of buildings. We're gonna have them all kind of connect with each other. You can see how I'm using my ruler to get a nice clean line. If there are some buildings you don't wanna use a ruler for, that is perfectly fine. But we are mainly using the, the ruler or straight edge just so our projects are nice and neat. So that's my first row of buildings. You can tell that most of them are pretty plain and then this one has a little bit of a dome on top, okay? What we are gonna do next is we are going to do the second row of buildings, okay? So I want you to try to at least attempt to do the second row. How we're gonna go about that is the same system as we did the first row, but we're gonna start a little bit higher and instead of coming all the way down to the bottom of the paper, we're gonna stop when we hit the buildings that we just drew. <clears throat> all right, so here is my second row of buildings. You can see that these are a little bit more fun shaped you can also see that these buildings look like they are behind the first row of buildings. So we're doing a little bit of overlapping here too. The next phase is to add all of the faces, which is the fun part. So you can look on the PowerPoint for some inspiration photos. You can use your devices to look up some James Rizzi art. You could make up your own faces you could even look up some cartoon faces if you want to. Like if you wanted to put a SpongeBob face in there, you go for it. Maybe a Squidward nose or an Angry Bird face. You go for it, okay? This is yours. This is supposed to be a little bit funny, a little bit silly. So I wanna see what you can do, okay? Okay, so 
So this is what I came up with. These are my faces. You can tell some of them are weird, some of them are goofy, some of them are cute. Your next step is we're gonna add the windows and any background elements that you wanna add. some details like I added some clouds in here I added a little balcony up here um, you if you notice my windows are not all the same shape some of them are a little funky like this guy this lady's got some heart windows there's some circle windows um, these windows are longer all that kind of stuff I even added some little hearts and symbols in there so this is what I'm looking for. All right, I want you to be silly with it. This is, I know this is a little bit simpler of a project, but I want us to have fun with this because that's what this is all about, okay? So the next step, once you've gotten here, is you are going to add color. Now, if you look at the inspiration photos, you will be able to see lots and lots of color, meaning the windows are not the same color as the buildings okay the eyes a lot of the eyes are white so that that's perfectly fine with me if you want to leave them white but different things are different colors so i don't want you to take a crayon and color this whole building one color okay so we're really going to focus on getting into our details which might take a little longer but i promise it's going to look a lot nicer Okay, so let me color this in and then I will show you my final product. I took my time and I put a lot of details in there but this is all done all right you guys can see how colorful it is um, there's a lot of emotion all of the windows are different colors from the buildings that's an important part all right so I am going to lift the camera up a little bit so you can see this better all right so this is my finished product once again you can see all of the different colors look how neat it is even though it was a lot of coloring okay a lot of coloring in tiny little spaces there's still no scribbles on it even my eyes are colored in there are some spots that are white and that's perfectly okay like the clouds the eyes um, my teeth all right those kinds of things are perfectly okay to leave white but everything else I want some kind of color okay so this is it I can't wait to see yours. I know they're gonna look so much fun um, and a little silly and maybe a little crazy and they'll look awesome. I right, am really excited to see them. So I hope you guys are staying safe and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.